How's it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store's Golden Week sale is rolling on right now, and as I did a video excluding JRPGs, we gotta do a video talking all about the JRPGs. Now, before I get into these lineup of great deals, I know some of you guys are gonna still click on this video and go into the comment section, stop talking about JRPGs, you weeaboo. Leave that comment. I can't wait to see it, but I got you guys covered if you are not a fan of JRPGs. The weekly deal this week is NBA 2K22. On the PS4, it's $9.59. On the PS5, it's $17.49. I would recommend go buy it and sink your entire bank account into the My Team mode. I think that's going to be worth it. I think that My Team credit is going to turn like cryptocurrency, and you guys are going to get filthy rich. Okay, so with that out of the way, don't do that. That was a joke, but Let's get into the JRPGs because there's a lot of great deals that are available right now and a lot of stuff that I would recommend. Some of the stuff I already mentioned, but we'll do the run around again. All right, first up, we got Nier Replicant, which is 50% off for $29.99. Unfortunately, Nier Automata is not on sale right now. Well, I didn't think Nier Replicant was as good of a game as Automata. Bear in mind that Replicant originally came out like years and years ago on the PlayStation 3 and 360. This is a very refined version of the game, but it is still the original game. And uh, the soundtrack in this game is still tremendous. The gameplay is fairly good. Like, honestly, I was expecting it to be quite a bit of a drop off from Automata just because when I played the original Nier, that's not really stuck in my head anymore. But uh, I thought the gameplay was still pretty good. Obviously, narratively, it's very good. A little bit confusing at first but a lot of twists and turns and it comes together pretty nicely. Uh, I would recommend to play both Replicant and Automata when you get the chance. Uh, Automata is always on sale, like physically. I think it's available for like $19.99 right now, so you can play it that way. Uh, otherwise, if you already played Automata just because that came out back in 2017, though a lot of you checked it out. Replicant's been holding up in price, so yes, 30 bucks is expensive, but what you're gonna do, I still think it's worth a buy, and uh, you can send quite a bit of time into it as well. Next up, a JRPG franchise I always recommend you guys know I got to do the run around again. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, down to $19.99 if you're a Plus subscriber. Now, you want to play the Trails of Cold Steel games sequentially. There's a lot of debate on how you should play the Legend of Heroes games in general. The reason I just say jump into Trails of Cold Steel is because the other games aren't readily uh, accessible. They are going to be accessible over time. But in my opinion, Trails of Cold Steel, you can jump right into this one. And the issue with the other uh, Legend of Heroes titles is some of them, like visually, they were made for like the PS. P, I believe, so they don't hold up as well, so that's gonna be a little bit of an issue for you to get into the franchise. I'm not saying Trails of Cold Steel is a blow-away game visually, but it looks good enough, and why you're getting into this game, of course, is for the excellent world-building, the story, the character development. These, uh, these games do a tremendous job in that, and Trails of Cold Steel 1, mind you, like, it is a little bit slower from the get-go. It's a lot of, uh, you know, setting the foundation for the other uh, subsequent Trails of Cold Steel games, but it's still very good. Lengthy game as well, and even the slower portion of the game was quite good, so uh, $19.99 for this. You guys know I'm uh, a big fan of these games, and it's one of my top favorite uh, JRPG franchises ever. I wish it had a little bit more appeal and more people checked it out. I wish it was on the level of, like, a Final Fantasy, but what can you do? For $19.99, it's a great pickup, and I would recommend picking this up. Trails of Cold Steel 2 is on sale as well. Cold Steel 3 and 4, I believe, are all on sale, but um, if you just want for now, pick up Cold Steel 1 and 2, and that's gonna give you a pretty sizable experience. Alright, next up, Valkyria Chronicles Remastered plus Valkyria Chronicles 4, the bundle, 67% off for $13.19. This is a great deal. Uh, another franchise that I often talk about. This is another series that unfortunately has not, like, I feel like it just has not resonated over here uh, in the States. Maybe not even in Japan. I mean, we did get a Valkyria Chronicles 4, but mind you, Valkyria Chronicles 1 came out back in 2008. Valkyria Chronicles 2 was a PSP only title. Valkyria Chronicles 3 never even made it stateside. And then thankfully, enough people checked out the VC1 remaster and we got Valkyria Chronicles 4. Um, I don't know how that game really did commercially. Not seemingly like gangbuster numbers, but these games are so good. And I'm not big into tactics games, but they were great uh, tactical JRPGs. Valkyria Chronicles 1 has some mission that I was not a big fan of, but uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4 I thought was excellent. Both games narratively are incredibly strong. Just really good war stories, a lot of emotional moments, and I really liked how they told the story through the use of the storybook. Uh, I thought that was pretty well done. So, 13-19 for both games I think is a great deal. Alright, next up. 
Tales of Zestiria, 90% off for $5.99. Now, I've been pretty vocal about the fact that Tales of Zestiria is probably my least favorite Tales of game. However, I think the Tales of franchise is one of the most consistent JRPG franchises that you're going to come across. And even though Zestiria had a lot of narrative elements that I was not a fan of, a lot of story decisions that I thought were just head scratchers, Overall, it's still a pretty good JRPG. Now, if you are getting into Tales of for the first time, Zestiria probably isn't the game I would recommend just because why go into one of the lesser uh, Tales of games as your first exposure to the franchise? Yes, it's super cheap at $6, and at this price point, that's why I'm recommending it. Uh, it's still worth a buy, um, but if you're a first time, I would say go Vesperia, go Berseria, go Arise. Those are the games that I would say are the top tier Tales of titles that are readily accessible. Zestiria is still a fairly decent JRPG. Like, I'm talking the 6.5 to 7 out of 10 range. But for a lot of people, the Tales of games, you get into them for the narrative aspect. And I thought there was a lot of narrative misfires here. The gameplay is still pretty decent. And there are still uh, moments in the story that I think are good. But take it for what you will. $6 is an okay price for this. Next up, Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus 80% off for $12. This often sees some resemblance to Persona. And I, I can definitely see why it sees that comparison. The only issue is persona is like an absolute elite tier jrpg especially if you look at p5 or p4 even p3 um but tokyo xanadu is not at that level but it's still a fairly good jrpg i think it's got some char uh, charming characters if you're looking for something a little bit more laid back i think tokyo xanadu can definitely offer that don't expect anything a blow away visually i believe this game uh, also came out on the PSP, or not the PSP, excuse me, PS Vita, uh, way back when. But $12 for it, I think, is a fairly good buy if you want something. I don't want to say middle of the road, but, like, uh, the, uh, a little bit better than middle of the road. I think that's what Tokyo Xanadu is going to get you. So 12 bucks for it, I think, is a good price. Lengthy game as well with a sizable amount of content. All right, next up, Persona 5 Royal Deluxe Edition. Like, do I really need to sell you on this? 70% off for $21 is a remarkably great price point. P5 is considered by many as one of the best for some people the best jrpg of all time and i can definitely understand why visually the game yes uh p5 initially came out on the ps3 as well but visually it still holds up remarkably well it's just a very very flashy and well-designed game uh soundtrack is obviously tremendous story is very good characters are great uh it's wild how consistently incredible the persona games have been like widely received persona 3 persona 4 persona 5 are all games i think the majority of people would consider in the 9 out of 10 range and for a lot of people p5 the 10 out of 10 range um and yeah royal adds a good bit of content and you're talking about a game that already had a lot of content so 21 dollars for that is quite good all right next up want to me uh, mention a couple of ease titles so ease 9 monstrum knocks a great deal on this 50 percent off for 29.99 i believe the cheapest we've seen on the playstation store mind you you do have to be a plus subscriber to take advantage of that deal but nonetheless 29.99 is very good for that memories of salsetta on the other hand 50 percent off for 14.99 that game uh i originally played on the ps vita and quite enjoyed it uh Ease 8 is on sale. Some of you guys pointed it out. I was kind of befuddled by the price point of that game. Then it makes sense. The game is about to be released on the PS5, which I think I mentioned that, but I didn't put two and two together. That why would you want to undercut the PlayStation 5 versions of the price ahead of the release of that game? That makes sense. So Ease 8, I wouldn't say is worth it right now, just because it's been far, far cheaper. And you're talking about Ease 9 being cheaper than Ease 8 right now. So... Uh, figure that one out. You could jump into Ease 9 right out the gate. Like, you don't have to play these games sequentially. They all have a pretty self-contained story that you can s jump into and have a good experience out of. Um, you know, uh, Ease Memories of Salsetta, obviously, temper your expectations from a visual standpoint, but Ease has never been, uh, you know, a game that's really relied on excellent visuals to be a quality game, and Memories of Salsetta was still a game I rather enjoyed. Uh, and it's $15, so a good price point for it as well. Okay, next up, we have Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, 85% off for $9. I often say that I like Nino Kuni 1 better, but Nino Kuni 2 was still a very good game. This is another one you can jump right into Nino Kuni 2. Um, and yeah, great art style in this game. Gameplay solid, a little bit of a shift from the first game, but still fairly good, and quite a bit of content in it as well. Uh, came out a while ago, and I'm surprised that it's gotten this cheap, to be perfectly honest. Like, JRPGs sometimes are one of those franchises uh, or genres that do have games that hold up in 
price more so, but $9 for this is really good. So, uh, yeah. Play this, circle back, check out Nino Kuni 1 when it goes on sale, because that you can find for sub $10 as well, but Nino Kuni 2, pretty good pickup here. Uh, okay, next up, I want to recommend some of these Star Ocean games. Star Ocean The Last Hill, 4K and Full HD Remaster, 60% off for $8.39. Star Ocean Till the End of Time, 60% off for $8.39, and then Star Ocean First Departure R, 60% off for $8.39 as well. So First Departure, Star Ocean, uh, the PSP, uh, PS1 game remake, and it was ported to PS4, I think I got that right. Um, I played this on the PSP way back when and had a really good time with it. Uh, just again, temper your expectations. Visually, Star Ocean Till the End of Time is probably... Uh, I, I think it's the Star Ocean game that everybody, like, checked out and was the most popular. It was on the PlayStation 2, you know, like, everybody had a PS2 till the end of time as a huge game as well as far as how many hours is in the game. Maybe a little bit to its detriment, honestly, in my recollection, but uh, 839 for it is fairly good. I'm not crazy about the art style in the, uh, in till the end of time, but hey, it is what it is. The Star Ocean games kind of follow that formula. Uh, Last Hope, <laughs> atrocious voice acting aside, I enjoyed Last Hope. I thought the gameplay was was good i thought some of the environments looked really good yeah at this point it came out back in 2009 so temper your expectations on that as well but at eight dollars and 39 cents on each of these games i think is a pretty good deal uh out of the three i think you should just get last hope just because it's the newest but um you know i think a lot of people would say till the end of time i think a lot of people might even go first departure uh but yeah, it's a franchise that I think more people should get into, especially because we do have Star Ocean 6 coming out this year. Uh, fingers crossed for no delay. Star Ocean 5 was, uh, like, not good at all, so I'm not recommending that, even though it is on sale. Um, but yeah, A39 for each of those is pretty good. Lastly, we have Dragon Quest XI uh, as Echoes of an Elusive Age. $26 is one of those JRPGs that's been holding up in price pretty, uh, pretty strongly, but $26 for it I think is pretty good. A lot of content in this game. A little bit of a throwback JRPG, that's kind of what Dragon Quest uh, is always going to be. If you're a fan of turn-based games, I think you're going to enjoy it. Pretty good story, solid cast of characters. Um, you know, I played it when the initial version came out, and I had a fun time with it. And I'm not, like, this huge Dragon Quest fan. It's not one of those JRPG series I really grew up with. Like, I played Dragon Quest VIII back in the day when it came out on the PS2, but wasn't a game that really hit home for me. But DQ11, I had a really good time with. Good soundtrack as well. And, um, yeah, uh, visually, it still, you know, looks pretty decent. So $26 for that. Yes, pricey. But I would say, given that uh, you're getting quite a bit of content for your dollar, I think that's worth it as well. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great JRPGs. RPG deals available right now. I think, uh, you know, Near Replicant, a little bit on the pricey side, but I really enjoyed Near Replicant. Was, uh, I can't believe it's been over a year since the game has come out. It came out April of last year, but yeah, that's a good deal. Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Obviously, I'm going to sing that game's praises, especially as we get more of these Legend of Heroes uh, titles coming stateside. It's going to be a really good time to check these games out. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. As always, sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.